Hey, everyone. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> yes, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Festivus and Kwanzaa. Whatever it is you celebrate, mm. we hope you had a really good time. We did. Yeah, we did. Yep, we had a fantastic time. In fact, uh, our, our our son came up from Florida. That was great. The whole family was here. And, um, and his girlfriend came up here with him. Like yes, that. yep, yep. So that was pretty cool. So I hope you all had a good holiday. We did. And we invited you. We got this new drink that we're making. So I'm going to kind of go over making this drink while we're talking. But I think it takes me about 10 minutes. I've made this drink twice before, and it takes me about 10 minutes. So we're going to have pre-drinks so that we have drinks while we're waiting for drinks. It's actually pretty cool. It was a gift. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So oh. it explains oh, everything. Oh, don't make a mess. It's really already made a mess. Okay, but it's actually pretty cool. Okay, well, okay, I'm, 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 having, I'm having a beer. I'm having a Delirium Tremens, which is one of my favorite beers, uh, which uh, I just recently found out what it means. Um, if you've ever uh, heard of people being in what a detox or something, and they, they're going through withdrawal, they say you have the DTs. Oh yeah, and they're nothing yeah, about that's that. That's the delivery of tremens. So, yeah, I don't know know nothing about that. that. <laughs> I just sprayed beer all over the wall. Don't let her know. Uh, can you guys hear good? Because we're using a different microphone this time. Last time the sound was just awful, and uh, well, I guess hey, Eric's here. Cool. Like a pro. <laughs> this is here too. Okay. Yep. And uh, do, would you like wine while you're waiting? I for would this? like wine while I'm waiting. Okay. So as you can see, we are here in Philadelphia. We came back from the boat oh, about five days before Christmas, yeah. and within five days, we decorated, bought a tree, finished up shopping, and everything else we had to do. Whipped it all together really, really yeah. fast. So it's. <laughs> It's kind of nice. The holidays are over because now I can relax. Well, yeah, relax. Kind of a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost tax season, so I can't for relax. Him. It's over. Relaxation's over for me for a while. Yeah. So, but this this can, this bottle opener is terrible. I told you it's broken. I don't know what happened I, to the I, good I one. Yeah, I don't know. We have Somewhere. good ones on the boat. Okay, well, yeah. I, I, I will get this open. It gets a lot of use. Jeez. <laughs> You're supposed okay. to wiggle it anyway. Okay, well, here's your wine. What is wait, this? wait, wait. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. What is it anyway? Shannon Ridge. It's a petite shrock. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it. Okay. You got know that? Yes. I'm going to have a beer. And so, anyway, let me get going. I'm going to start making this drink. Oh, wait, let me look, look at some comments really quick because before I get going, we're going to, people are going to scroll by and we're going to miss it. No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm just ch checking to see who's here. Hey, Laura. Hey, 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 hey Eric and Chris. And uh, cool. Lots of people we uh, we know from our trips are on here. So thanks for thanks I'm for joining friends. us. So, okay. Well, anyway, you can't take this from me because I'm using it because I don't oh. have, I don't have the ingredients memorized yet. So it's over here for a reason. Okay. And um, so Devin and Albert came up with this drink, and I really love it. And it's going to be called the Trying Not to Sink Martini. And the first ingredient is rum. And there's going to be white rum. And, and why it's rum. Yeah, well, it's rum to represent the the islands that we travel through. So Isn't that cool? The, the islands. So anyway, I'm going to... Do you need a jigger? I got one right here. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be one ounce of regular rum. I'm going to do two ounces because I'm making linen drink as well. Good. Okay. Cool. One ounce of regular. And then it's going to be another ounce of coconut rum. Where's my coconut rum? I have it here someplace. Oh, where's my coconut rum? Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers, everyone. So are you making food as well? I'm going to make food in a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Did anyone answer me how the sound is? I'm kind of concerned about that. Oh, you hear it. Okay. I see. We hear it. Thank you. It's a different microphone. Okay. So I've got the... Oh. Okay. Ignore we have, that. We have commercials. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I got the rum in. Uh, now, um, well, there's got to be 
vodka as well because as my daughter says that um, most people are made up of 65% water and Lynn and I are made up of 65% vodka. So I think there's vodka in every... I think I'm made up of 65% vodka. <laughs> Yeah, I do, I do throw some of the brown stuff in once. She's vodka queen here. Okay. You, know, you know what I mean? Mm. That's a reference to a song. Mm. Dancing queen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Abba. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I remember that. I can let everybody okay, know. Okay, wait. What's like my next Abba. ingredient is coconut water. Now. Okay. And this is an ounce of coconut water. So it's going to be two ounces for the two of us. Oops. I'm going to read some comments here while I'm trying to do this, too. I hope you didn't say hey, happy hours. Friend. Thanks for joining us. Hey, happy new year, Debbie and Bill. Corinne Ramsey. Yep. Okay. Craig, Captain Tom. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> um, hey, thanks for joining us, everyone. That's pretty cool. I just heard my door open. Yeah, I think our, our son might be here. Okay. <laughs> well, he's going to be a surprise entry into this. Yes. I'm yes. Kind of blown out. I should turn the light down a little bit. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm making another mess. Okay. There we go. That's better, I think. You're off to a good start. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even drinking yet. <laughs> okay, so I did the coconut water. Now, what's next here? Why is it coconut water? What's that represent? Uh, that signifies the tropical seas. Okay. And now we have orange juice, which represents Florida, where Triton is right now and in Titusville. Right now, yeah. So how much of this goes in? Okay, and I don't see each of this. I don't know how many of you guys, I, I sent the ingredients up this afternoon on, um, on our Facebook channel, thinking that, well, maybe somebody want, might want to make it. Because these aren't all ingredients, you know, I typically have. Well, most of them I do. I think it's the next one, this uh, molasses, uh, what's it called? Simple syrup. That's one I don't usually have here, but I do now. Yeah, not, yeah it's molasses. Shoe fly pie simple syrup, which is basically molasses, a um, little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and, of course, water. And you could use... Uh, brown sugar too, right? When they kind yeah, of well, brown simulate molasses. Is, brown sugar is okay. sugar with molasses. Three quarters of a so shot of that. It'd probably be sweeter. You would you would probably want to use less if okay. you use brown sugar. That's good. And let's see what's next. Okay, so then it's a key juice of key lime, which is symbolic of one of our favorite, or perhaps our favorite stuff, which is Key West, Florida. So I think, I don't know if this is a, is this a, key, is, huh? this, is this a key lime, or is this just no, a regular lime? No, key lines are little lines. Mm -hmm. There's well. a, there's a little tiny one. They're really not much of a lime at all. So <laughs> I need a bowl for then. Some people are drying out. No, it's the New Year's not over yet. It's still until midnight. No. Mr. Fee is supposed to be biting the hair of the uh, dog that bit us last night. <laughs> yeah, we did go out last night, and we got back about 2, 3 in the morning. Ended up going to a local uh, local place. I was having a party, and then afterwards there was a party at a friend's house. and So uh, we got home late. Yeah. So this is definitely hair of the dog here. Okay, so what do I need here? I need a half ounce, so I need a full ounce of this. Hopefully I just made enough. Uh, I'll Perfect. Right? Okay. That's all the ingredients. Cool. Okay, now we have to garnish it. We have to what? Garnish, right? So... What I'm going to do these are pretzels. This symbolizes Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. uh, I forgot to tell you the shoe fly here. This symbolizes Pennsylvania, oh. which is where we're from. And the pretzels are a Philly thing. 
and that's because that's where we used to keep the boat. Is it is it shoe fly pie? Yeah, shoe fly pie simple so, syrup. Yeah, well, that's what you need. Shoe, shoe fly pie is a big thing here. It's, so, um, it's basically a molasses pie. Yeah, if you never had it, it's really good. You, know, you get it in almond country around here. It's just really, really pretty good. Uh, let's see. It's great yeah. with coffee. It's excellent with coffee. So what is everybody drinking? What do you got there? Anything good? Anything interesting? Mm. Happy New Year. Oh, cool. Oh, it's coming up. Okay, yeah, I can't see it on this. <laughs> yes, this is exactly what happens when we're not voting. <laughs> Actually, this is what happens when we're voting, too, or at least when we're at dock. Yeah. Okay, so what I do is I ground up some uh, pretzels here. And that's on the plates. And then I have some um, coconut cream. This is like that Goya stuff you get in a can, but um, Lynn put it in a container because we never use it all. And I'm just putting... Yeah, we never... It, so I just... And I don't want it to smell uh, or taste like tin, so I take it out mm -hmm. of that. Well, the whole point of that is to get the rim sticky. That's all. So I'm cooking up some gators. I brought back from Titusville. I'm, I, I do like alligator meat. I don't know if everybody else does. And I know it tastes like chicken, but not really. Kind of. Right? I guess so. It it's like good. It's good. I'm not deep frying it, but... So that's from the ocean place over in Titusville? Yeah. Where it's, uh, well, yeah, there's some just big warehouse where they just sell all kinds of fish there. Ed's never been in it. No, so she tells I, me about it, but she goes there and gets all kinds of things. So Yeah, it was like angels were singing when I walked in. I was like, oh, my God, look at all this seafood. And okay. we all know how I like my seafood in bags. So well, perfectly yeah. prepared there. I need to put some ice in this. What happened to my charcuterie board? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> well, you sh you shouldn't have left it on the oven when I was going to turn turn the stove when I turned the stove on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> it looks interesting. Mm. So this is a stirred martini as opposed to shaken, which is what I usually do. But it, it gives it a better look. It's not as cloudy. So this looks pretty. Yeah. So who else is here now? Hey, happy new year from the UK. South Carolina in the house. Dakota. South Carolina, the best <laughs> drink of green fried you will ever have. Some gin and tonics over there. Okay. <laughs> well, this should be good. If I didn't screw anything up, I don't think I did. I'm, let this cook. I'm just going to let this we'll go about a little bit. Because I don't want to die. I don't know if gator is like, you know, pig. Like, you got to cook it all the way or what. I'm pretty sure it's not like um, sushi. <laughs> right? I never heard of <laughs> Gator sushi roll. Okay, tell me what you think. Where's my other garnish? Oh, this is the hardest part. Okay, I'm sure I can do it. Mr. Bartender. Yeah, this is the hardest part, so let's see, let's see if I can do it. Nope, fail. <laughs> well, all she's got to do is just break a little piece off. Right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, we'll see. Okay, it's there. Okay, I got one. Okay, good. Nope, that was a fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> we'll try it. Tell me if it's any good. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I see why my pretzel's upside down. Cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers. It's pretty good. It reminds me of uh, Poozer. Yeah, it's good. I think it works. I don't think I messed anything up. Hey, Virginia's in the house. Cool. Boston, Missouri. Boston. I got a lot of family up there. Connecticut. Wow. Dakota is cool. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us and um, and helping us celebrate the new year. Yeah. I hope it's going to be a great new year. I really we're, do. We're planning on it. We're, we're not even sure what we're doing yet as far as plans. Mm -mm. We, um, we do know we're going to go on the hard. Yeah. In May, we're going to go on the hard because there's some things we want to do. I have some damage to a spray rail on the boat that was caused... Um, uh, in uh, Nassau. Was it Nassau? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I put. I think I posted it on the Facebook. Yeah, it wasn't us. It wasn't our fault. It was just a screw sticking out of the dock. You know, uh, Eric will remember. I, I, <laughs> I don't even think they knew it was there hmm. because it was at low. So when the tide hmm. went down real low, this big bolt was out and just chewed up the uh, spray rail. Yeah, so we want to fix that. We're about due for some bottom pain, I think, at least some touch-ups. So we're going to do some of that. I don't know. I might uh, well, check some of the seacocks and you know, just whatever needs to be done. You know? The last time we had our bottom done, um, we had it done. And then we had it immediately pulled because of something, you know, boat stuff. Mm -hmm. So we had to go on the hard. I think it, yeah. I forget what it was. But anyway, um, I could see the bottom was done really crappy. Crappy. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they did the two coats yeah. they were supposed to do. No, no. And where didn't. the stands were, mm -hmm. they didn't even. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we painted it again. Lynn did, and then so I don't know. Now we have divers that come down uh, once a month. We pay divers in um, Titusville to yeah, go and use clean, prime. clean the bottom, and they put new zincs on as needed and things like that. And they've been saying that we're kind of they're seeing some uh, blue shining through the the water line on our bottom paint. well because how we have it is we have the blue paint with and then the yeah. black paint on yeah. top we have a, a hard blue paint yeah. on the boat and uh, i wanted to stay with hard paint too and i instructed the yard this is seven years ago when i first bought the boat that i wanted them to put another coat of hard on it they didn't listen to me and they put a blade of paint on i oh, didn't i didn't even know it you paid for the other stuff too yeah. you know it was but anyway, so they put black ablative paint on it. So now what happens is we just wash the black. And if it fades enough, it goes down to the blue, which is underneath. And then we can see that we need to at least touch it up or something like that. Yeah, so I'm that's not, that's I'm, what we're doing now. But I'm anyway, we're going to go hard. Things. We're going to do that. And whatever else we think we need to do, check the seacocks. I've um, been dying to check the seacocks because the boat is a 1979 mm -hmm. boat. And I just think that that would be smart, you know? Yeah, well, we've checked them before, so it's not yeah. like we've never looked at them or anything. But yeah. um, So anyway, yeah, we're going to do that. That's that's a definite plan. And we're thinking, um, well, we want to do the West Coast. We want to do the Gulf Coast of Florida this year, one way or another. We wanted to do it last yeah. year. We ran out of time. Just to explore it. So we're definitely going to do it this year, but we're not sure what else. Maybe back to the Exumas again. Uh, maybe go down further in the Bahamas. Oh, my Exumas God. I hope, to Long I hope Island. Chris comes. Um, yeah. That yeah, no, that would be great if Chris comes. Hey, hey, and Eric and Dana, Dana. <laughs> and Joey and, Joey and Lori and, 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 and Craig and uh, Kristen. Yeah, 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 Craig and, yeah, Kristen. Uh, we yeah. had so much fun. And with that, we are opening up uh, people, people to travel with us next year, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Because so. it, it was a blast. Like, we did not meet Craig and Kristen mm -hmm. till they stepped their foot on the boat. <laughs> and we got along like a bunch of peas yeah. in a pod. It was just really, we laughed all the time. Mm -hmm. She's super positive, <laughs> you know. Well, if you're new to our channel, for the last several years, we've invited fans or you know people yeah. who watch our channels and friends. again friends well we always have friends on board but we've invited people that we didn't know you know fans of the channel to come join us for a, a couple of weeks usually in the bahamas yeah. i think so uh, we're gonna do that again this year of yeah. course we don't know our plans yet so stay tuned if you're if you're interested in something like that let us know but we're sometime in the next month or two we'll kind of figure out exactly what we're going to do yeah, uh, but not sure. I I I, I don't want to miss the islands. We love the islands so much, but we also don't want to miss Key West because I love going to Key West. Mm -hmm. And if we want to do the Gulf Coast, well, because we want to, you know, tread our feet on different ground. You know, uh, uncharted waters yeah. is always really exciting, mm -hmm. and I've gotten much better at handling that. 
you know, not freaking out when I don't know things. <laughs> well, there, there is still, there is still a lot we have not done in the Exumas. You know, I was just looking at the charts today, and I was like, we haven't been to this key, we haven't done that island, we haven't done this. There's parts of the Abacos we haven't touched yet. But then there's a part of me who wants to say, hell with that. Let's just go to Turks and Caicos and maybe, maybe well, that jump is it over to Puerto Rico. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll let you know. We'll let you know what we're going to do. I'm not sure. Our list is, is long. Uh, long for how old we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to run out of time <laughs> So <laughs> we use better hot ball this stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, uh, hey, I wanted to mention, too, I didn't put out a video yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday, right? Yes. So yesterday. we've been trying this year. We've been it was New Year's Eve yesterday. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right but that's there. not why he didn't put a video <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, I didn't put a video out because I, I was lazy. <laughs> um, in, in fact, uh, we, we knew we were going to do this live stream, so I didn't put a video out. But I did want to mention that because for the last year, we've been putting out a video pretty much every Sunday, 10 o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, we've been trying to be really good with that. Yeah, but now it's I'm back in Philly. It's tax season again. I actually have to go to work. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping that pace. I think we're going to probably be putting out maybe a video, maybe every two weeks, kind of like we did in previous years. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we'll end up. So if you don't see us on a Sunday, it doesn't mean we disappeared. We're going to probably have a video out the following Sunday. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Just, yeah. You know, it's funny because, like, I went to go get crackers because I mm -hmm. always have some type of cracker. And I didn't. But what I did have was those peanut things, the tatilla um, chips, <laughs> yeah, the, the mission things. So I was like, oh, okay. What do you call these things? Tortillas? tortillas? <laughs> the round <laughs> things. Uh, uh, yeah, tortillas. So, yeah. So I just, uh, you know, popped them in the oven and bada bing, bada boom, there we got chips. It works. So this is good. I don't know if any is anyone is anyone making it. I don't know. I mean, I know the the ingredients aren't something you have on hand, but let me see. Well, I can, think I, the shoe fly simple syrup is going to be the weird one. And can I smell it? I just, what, smell what? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what what you can substitute that for. Oh God, nothing. Um, definitely. Hollywood, Florida. Jeez, I wish we get back there. We can get there. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, we had a lot. Cranky. Of fun what's the cranky? Cranky Gary's or something. Grumpy Gary's. Um, <laughs> Eric just mentioned that the damage on the uh, spray uh, spray rail was because of that banana that was briefly on the boat. Shh, we're not saying anything, <laughs> <Yeah>. Dana. Um, <laughs> we're not going to say who brought the banana <laughs> off my boat. <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, this smells like uh, blackstrap molasses, so okay. I think that. All right, someone just asked where we plan to go on the heart. And, um, oh, yeah. I, geez, I think it's called Cape Canaveral uh, Marina. Yeah, it's before the lock. Yeah, it's before by the, lock. the Canaveral lock. There, there, there's two marinas there. One, I think, I think one's called Scorpion or Scorpion, something like that. And there's two of them there that can take us. Yeah. And one of them does allow a lot of uh, do, do it yourself work to be done there. I, I think it's And we Cape all Canaveral. know how we like to do it <laughs> ourselves. We, know, we you all know how cheap we are. You know? <laughs> so uh, well, it's also a learning curve too yeah. to to know your yeah. boat. Well, is... some of the things that have to be done. I mean, bottom painting. I mean, you we're just going to roll some paint on, you know. And I do have to fix the spray rail, but that's you know that's just woodwork really and some fiberglass work. So it looks like it was made out of really good wood. Now, I looked at it. We'll look at it closer when it's on the hard. But honest to God, it looks like mahogany. Mm -hmm. You know, because well, I'll probably get some of that. Um, Starboard. If they make starboard thick, like an inch. Oh, and you're going to gonna patch thick, it with starboard. Yeah, and then then I'll fiberglass over that. But I don't think I'm not going to core it with wood. I'll core it with like that or kusa. But I'll probably core it with starboard. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, yeah. do you want to taste a gator? Right. You first. What's it taste like? Chicken. Chewy chicken. Chewy chicken. I had it marinated. Yeah, it's just chewy. chewy Probably chicken. too chewy. No, I don't know why. Maybe you guys know how to cook gators better than I do, but mm. I'll take hints. Um. Mm. Oh. 
I, I think I like them. I think I like them. <laughs> Boy, that sucks. Yeah, that's um, why I really like choked out I think on video. <laughs> I, I was going to deep fry them with the batter and crap, but that seemed like a pain in the ass, and it also seemed like high, high carbs. So I opted not to. So, um... So I just had a question I wanted to answer, and I forget what it was. Um, what did we make for cocktails last night? Oh, we, didn't we make did. Them. Well, we went to a bar. We uh, we went. Well, we're in Bucks County, so we went to the Buck Hotel. <laughs> the Buck Hotel that has a nice restaurant. It's it's okay. They don't know how to cook seafood, but. Well, but whatever. These but are, the rest of their stuff was whatever. great. There's a, there's a band. It was cool. We yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was fun. And then but we went over to Rachel's. Rachel and Sarah's. You might remember Rachel from a uh, year. The first couple of years we did the Hatteras. Rachel was the second mate, you, mm -hmm. helping out. You popped in and out of some videos. So you yeah. guys may know Rachel. Um, how long did it take to replace? It doesn't question. say anything. <laughs> Cusa board will glass easier. Okay. That's that's thanks for oh, that. That's tip. good to know. Yeah. Thank you. Did we ever do the loop? No. Now the answer of mine is no, we've never done the loop. Uh, our boat's too tall. Yeah, there's for there's, one bridge. There's a bridge in Chicago that we'd have a real hard time getting under. Maybe if it was low tide. I mean and maybe if I took down the radar array, but maybe no, because if I took all my shit, oh I could add more stuff on you're not the, supposed to be cursing on i could boat. add more <laughs> stuff onto the boat to bring the weight down yeah that's it if, well i don't know we'll, 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 we'll stock up on wine and vodka yeah there we go and, we'll, and then bring we'll bring the, boat the weight down, down. A few down. Inches. okay so i don't know that we're ever going to do the loop I, I would love to get up to the great lakes i don't know how much i care so much about going down the mississippi i, I don't know how many spots there are to stop there and we want to do the golf so one way or another we're going to do those areas but i don't know that we're actually going to loop it with our boat Mm. Mm. You took my drink. Oh, sorry. Why'd you put your pretzel inside? But that's a fantastic idea. No, I did that because I couldn't cut it. Kept breaking. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think we gotta like steam them or something. Or let me read some. More. Let me read some more comments here. Okay. Um. Do you see another vote for stuff. another vote for Kusa board? I did use Kusa. I don't know if you guys have watched the video where I had to. Um, where I fixed the windlass and I found rot and I had to replace about a two foot by foot and a half section of the deck. And I did that all in Kusa board. And I was very happy, very easy to work with. Yeah. Um, and it will never, ever, ever rot. Yep, exactly. Wisconsin in the house here, Cape Marina. Cape Marina. Yeah, that's probably it. I, I think that's what it's called. The, the oh, yeah. Right yeah, I thanks. think you're right. Yeah, I, I forget. But you know, I you know what I hey, if any of you guys are in Florida, I need the air I need an air conditioner fixed. And I, I, I tried calling a company. Ugh. What's wrong? Oh, it's my honey. And I, I need my I need I, one of my air conditioners is not working, and I've given up trying to do it myself. Um, so I'm looking for somebody who fixes air conditioners in uh what, what are we in central Florida, I guess? I don't know. Mm. Around Cape Canaveral, Titusville, yeah. Coco. Anyway, so if you know anybody. Hey, speaking of knowing anybody, I think we're going to sell the Whaler. Yeah. I know. We've talked about this before, getting rid of the Boston Whaler. We love our Boston Whaler when it's in the water and we're using it. But it is such a pain to get older. And we're on. getting older and older, and it's more a pain in the ass. And definitely Jerry, Eric, Joe. <laughs> uh, Craig. Craig, all know what a pain in the ass it is to get it off. I yeah. mean, and you know, and it's it, we and know myself. that if we had a lighter boat that Lynn and I could handle ourselves a lot easier, we would use it more. And we find ourselves not doing things, you know, because of how difficult it is. So I know I've said it before, but I'm kind of saying it again now. I think we're going to get rid of the whaler. So if you know anyone who's looking for a nice 13 foot whaler with a bimini and all that and a 40 horsepower Yamaha on it. Let us yeah. know. Not sure what we're going to trade up to yet. No, well, there's a couple options we, we have, have options. of course. Yeah. One is the Mantis new boat. That's another yeah, we one. Yeah, we do like that. And then it's the high the field. The high field. And then, you know, it's Zodiac. So we're not really yeah. sure what we're going to so, do yet. Something lighter is the plan. So is the objective. So mm. it's not so crazy mm. taking it off. No. You know? 
I have too many pairs of glasses. <laughs> he doesn't want to do the I can't double do glasses because no, because I see I work in front of a computer and I try to use bifocals or transitions or whatever they're called. Mm. And I it, it slows me down because I look at a big monitor all day. Like bifocals, I have to keep going like this or, or transitions, and that takes time. I know it sounds silly, but that takes time. And if you sit in front of a computer all day, so I have glasses for the computer, and I have glasses to see with. <laughs> so these are my computer glasses, and well, I put my eye out here. But <laughs> some of us are getting old, and that's what happens, and that's not a big deal. Worst thing. Okay, will you come back to the ICW in South Carolina? You know, we will. I don't know when. I don't think it's going to be soon. I, I think it's going to be a couple of years from now. Because that is one of my favorite places. Okay. Now, Ken, okay, air conditioners are a pain. What exactly does it do? It's actually what it doesn't do. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> air condition. No, it's the, comp <laughs> the compressor won't kick over. And um, I have spare – it's a cruise air. And I have spare um, control boards. And I swapped them out. It's not it. I I've spare you know the, the the panel that you operate it with. That's not it. Oh, this is messy. I uh, tried using a a, a, a booster capacitor, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. a boost. You know, to try to kick it over. That didn't do it. So I'm kind of like it, maybe the compressor shot. I don't know. I figured I'd have somebody professional look at it before I spend a bunch of money replacing. Well, I think it. everybody that has the older hatteruses at this point mm. are having a problem with the air conditioning. You know. Yeah, some of them. I mean, some of them were good, but okay, let me get in here. Does the whaler have a trailer? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't. That's going to be the hardest part of selling it because a lot of people want a trailer for the whaler. Well, so we have to sell it to somebody who wants to put it on their boat or keeps it at their lake house. Or, or has a trailer. Uh, did I have to add insurance to keep the boat in Florida? Uh, not sure yet because technically this is – going to be the first year that we're officially in Florida because we were going back and forth and all that. So mm -hmm. We will definitely yeah. let you know. And I'm waiting to hear from my insurance company right now to see if they're even renewing us because we're with um, Boat US, which is Geico. And I, a lot of people send us comments saying that they're not they're not insuring anymore, but they've been insuring us. So I well, I'm waiting to taking, see what they say first. And then I'm going to tell them I'm in Florida. It's, it's <laughs> my understanding they're taking the older boats off unless they have a survey done. Yeah, and if they if I have to survey, then I'm going to I'm going to shop it around again. So, well, I mean, it seems Ooh. fair. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you got an old boat, check it out. I mean, it seems fair. Make sure it's yeah. floatable and not screwed up. Listen, don't we see the, the the exposure? It's really light. What happened to my remote control? Oh, here it is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at that magic. Hey, whatever. Maybe that looks better. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Eric. Um, hey, Chris, you drinking he, vodka? Yeah, Eric is right. The Whaler and Triton do not play nice together. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, and, and, and it tries to run away once in a while. As you know. <laughs> <laughs> it literally tries to leave us and run away. And <laughs> that was truly a thing this year for, for those of you that who did not see that. <laughs> that was in Staniel. <sighs> Daniel K, K, K. God, I always screw that up. I'm not the only one because everybody says K or oh, K, no, but see. I know it's K. Right. Oh, sorry about that. So I didn't know the first time I was talking about selling it, and then they ended up getting a whaler, a 13 foot whaler, anyway for her birthday. Oh, well, cool. Yeah, I, 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 sorry about. That. <laughs> you, know, you know, we've been so iffy you know about what? it. You know, you know, you. It's always nice to have two. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you never know. <laughs> is it her whaler? You know, we've been so <laughs> iffy about it because truly a whaler is yeah, an amazing yeah. boat. It, it truly is. Yeah, um, I, we do like the boat. I mean, it, you know, it can easily put six people on it. You know, and it's, and if it's, it wasn't the, the weight. And you can't sink it. <laughs> Ask Eric and Dana. Right? <laughs> we definitely didn't try, but damn. <laughs> it was full of water. And it just stayed on the top <laughs> when the build stopped mm. working on it. But now we keep a backup bilge in it. Because, you know, you learn. Right? Yep. Right? We do. And what else do we have here? Oh, what do you hear? Yeah. So this is Greer because, you know, I love that. This is Brie with my, my bees honey. And all my bees 
split this year. They all took off. And I wasn't here for it because it was voting. We were voting. But they whatever. flew away. That's all right. You can catch them. Like, you don't. I just want to say real quick, if mm -hmm. for anybody's bee person, you do not have to buy those bees for 250 bucks for the nuke and everything. You can actually put a trap out there with, ooh, ooh, hang on. It's, uh, damn it. I just had it. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Mm. So you put a, like a little high trap. You got to Google it and you use this bee trap stuff and, you and they'll go in there with the queen you know, like they got the scouts that check for a place to find a hive. You got your trap up. The scouts will go in. They'll bring the queen. All of them will march in. And it's F-R-E-E. -E. And we all know that's my favorite price. You got to Google that. And rather than paying 200 300 for it. So we had, we had hundreds of thousands of bees in the backyard, which was like, okay, fine. Except that Lynn is allergic to bees, which is like... I wasn't always. No, but... It, why? <laughs> you know? So they're all gone now, and she wants to get more. I'm not. Hey, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not upset that they're gone. I'll let you know how the trapping goes. I'm gonna try. Um, try changing the star capacitor. Okay. Well, I didn't do that, but I did. You know, like I said, I did use a boost capacitor, or whatever you call those things. Uh, let's see here. It's a, uh, oh, the Wabasco AC units on my boat. Yeah. You know, I we did. We put um, we put a newer. Um, air conditioner in our master stateroom, which we it got a lot. super cold. A matter of fact, when the mid stateroom failed, the one you're talking about, um, we just opened the doors and shut the yeah. one door, and it air conditioned both rooms yeah. comfortably. Well, yeah, it, it, so we did, and, that, and that's a self contained unit, and that's what we're going to end up doing if I can't fix this. Because they're all. Know, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it'll cost me $2,200 to put a self contained unit. It's, it's what the air conditioner that's not working is in the salon. Now we have two air conditioners in the salon. So it's not that it gets really hot, but it's, it fights. The one air conditioner is fighting to keep that in a decent But temperature. I, I want to say anybody that's been on our boat in the hot, hot, hot. They know yeah. it does not. It does not keep up. Yeah. It, you know. So anyway, so it, that's what we're going to do if we can't get it fixed. So I just figure if I can fix it for like five hundred or something, that's mm -hmm. cool. Otherwise, it's going to be like twenty two hundred to replace it. Mm -hmm. And and a video. I'll make a video of it. Mm -hmm. We just like glasses. anybody that comes on our boat when it's super hot and and like you guys that have been on the boat during the hot weather that know it's mm -hmm. it, it doesn't cool off. We just keep them drinking. No. Yep. So keep, maybe they keep, don't realize it. Keep your guests drunk. <laughs> well, let me read a couple more here because we're going to have to soon because I'm, I'm, my drink's almost done. I have to make another batch, and you guys are not going to want to watch me do that again, I'm sure. Um, While you're doing that, I want to say hi to my – I have a little friend on uh, BDoc. Hi, PJ. <laughs> I just want to say hi to him. He's, he's like a little man that's like an old man. But he's not like an old man. He's just really mature and smart and amazing. He's a little I think. man. Like, yeah, like, he's, a, a, like a, he's a he's a little four year old. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> okay. But he's like so intelligent. I was, anyway, I was thinking Oompa Loompa or something. I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, somebody had just asked though, uh, are we going to upgrade from Triton in the future? And I really don't think so. We thought about it. We thought about it. We love it. the boat. You know, I could see maybe in the future repowering or something like that, but because we want to, we want to be able to get further. The boat is so nice, and there's so much room. And you know, I mean, you know, it's you know, for us to get something better and newer, it's probably out of our price range anyway. So we'll probably stick with this and just keep and, and new it. like and we know this boat now. Yeah. So. Okay, like last year doesn't count because they were problems that popped up that you couldn't mm -hmm. predict. But um, even with newer boats, I mean, you can look at La Vagabond. They're a brand new boat. Oh, yeah. They got their engines shipped out. So, I mean, like mm -hmm. new boats have problems too. Yep. So this one, at least we kind of know. Yeah, I know every inch of that boat now pretty much, I, you know, especially Which this exists. past year, you know. Hey, and we've been doing re we've been kind of doing mini refits and things like that. I don't and know if you've I seen our video. Done. The floor <laughs> looks great. We did that this year. That that was I'm not done. Because we are only storts of a boat. Mm. We are, you know, we just <laughs> we'll be passing it along sometimes. Yeah, so and good. then you know it's it's all yours. So we mm. we I definitely the other captains on the boat that we found their little hidden treasures, like that one pump 
that we thought we had to buy, which was a ridiculous price. And <laughs> he, one of the captains had it buried somewhere. So, I mean, I just. Uh, I we love still that. fought that. Like, I did a video a couple of, about a month ago where I was trying to fix a blower and it was a fail. And okay, so I have other things to do. But meanwhile, like a week later, Lynn's like going through some cabinet compartment. She finds another blower. So we, we have the blower. Yeah, Chris, I, I was actually cleaning out stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me just see if there's anything I got to address here because we really should say goodbye here because my drink's almost done. Uh, wait, my wife and I love the wood on the bar in the galley. Oh, what yeah. stain was used? No stain. That's, no stain. That's just, that's we got that wood just, from, uh, where did we get that wood from? A wood place. Yeah, it's in, it's in Trenton. They sell raw wood. I, I don't forget what it's called. It's a lumber yard in Trenton. We'll get back and, to And it's on. elm. And no, it's just, we just poured uh, polyurethane. Not polyurethane. Yeah, we, we sanded it. Epoxy. It. Yeah. No, no color, no stain, nothing at all. Yeah. Um, I love it, too. I think it came out beautiful. Do we enjoy watching the launches from our marina? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, we do. We've but, yeah. we've seen quite a few of them. I mean, I don't know, a dozen at least, and it, it, they're they're always fun. It's very magical. Yeah. Very magical. And if and if we forget they're going off, we know they're going off because the boat starts vibrating. <laughs> we can hear, them, yeah. you know, and we you know run out to the bow and watch. Yeah. So we got we got a great we've got a great view from mm -hmm. where we are. It's it's pretty cool. I like that. You know. Um, Okay, let's get here. So a couple more. We can get... Is there any other business that <laughs> we need to answer? Okay, sh okay. Has Sherry is wondering if we can get your new drink at the Yardley Inn. <laughs> 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 Sherry and Mike. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get uh, Andy to do it for us. Yeah, <laughs> Andy probably would. She's so sweet. Uh, uh, Ed, and we'd love guys. to have a side conversation on the 32 volt system. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just contact me. I don't mind uh, talking to people. So. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, we, we we should wrap this up because I need to make another drink, and uh, it was very much fun talking with everyone. I hope, or or at least talking at people. You know? No, no, we were talking we with were talking everyone. About, okay. Well, you know, okay. I'm so glad. I hope everybody had a really good holiday season. <laughs> I'm know about you guys. It was a lot for me, so I'm ready to just like yeah. take it easy, rip yeah. down the decorations, put them away, and. Yeah. So you're going to take it easy, and I'm going to go to the tax office for three months and, and do tax returns. So. I, I got my projects I'm doing, too, but we'll keep you abreast uh, on Yeah, that. yeah. And uh, so we'll see you in the next video. You know what? I think our next video is going to be, I think I'm going to do our 10 favorite places in the Bahamas is our next video. That's really going to be really hard to narrow down because I swear, every place. Yeah, every place is beautiful. Yeah, so, so I mean, to narrow that down, you'd have to say, you, I don't even right. know how you do we'll, that. We'll, but anyway. We will figure it out. <laughs> Until then, um, cheers, happy holidays. Uh, see you soon. See you soon. We'll see you in two weeks. Okay, no, I think. Right? Two Sundays, I think. Yeah. Not this, yeah. not next Sunday, but the following. Because <laughs> we're going every other week now. Well, wait, it's going to go bye bye when I hit in. Bye bye. Roger out. <laughs>